Good morning, everyone. It's Jelani. The morning scripture came from Psalm chapter 4, verse 8. But we'll read the eight verses this morning. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as always, we come before you when we wake up in the morning in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to give you thanks for yet another day that you have preserved for us. And having seen over time, we see that this life is but a vapor in that we are here today, gone tomorrow. And we know that at times, we, well, if you, if you live X amount of time, even if you don't even live long, sometimes we just take it for granted that we are going to wake up tomorrow. But this is not, this is not the case for everyone. And you have your permitted time for everyone to live and move and have their being in this world and you have a time when we are going to be taken out of this world some are given length of days and some are given but a short time nevertheless you are infinitely wise in how much time you have given us and you are justified in all that you do knowing that you have given us all the maximum permissible time to get right with you and some may ask why did i not get a hundred years like the other person but as we said as i just said dear lord um we know we who know you know that you know what you're doing and we don't question you in the sense that we know more than you but we humbly come before you and request things of you because we are we are we, we are aware that you are the only one that are is able to do all things for us so today I am going to ask for each and every person, each and every soul listening to this prayer that our time here in this life is being redeemed for your glory, for your righteousness, that we are being watchful and attentive, that we are totally committed in serving you in all that we do, in that we are doing your good, acceptable, perfect and holy will. That we are not looking to the left nor to the right nor black backsliding nor stagnating on that path of righteousness but that we are moving forward dear lord step by step strength by strength throughout all things let us persevere and overcome let us finish that course that race that you have set before us with you lord jesus christ so we can all be victors and champions of christ jesus lord you have done it and you have shown us what to do and you're not you never left us to fend for ourselves but you have told us that you will be with us in all that we ask so dear lord i ask as i ask each and every morning that the test and trials of life is the things that build us up and not tear us down, the things that strengthen us and not weaken us, the things that teach us how and what we ought to be doing. Let us be acquainted with all that you have gone through so that we, in turn, may be one with you. Going through your sufferings, we shall also be glorified with you upon your return. And we want to teach this lesson also to our youth so that they are not in despair nor discouraged, but that they are encouraged in you right throughout the days of their life, especially seeing the times ahead of us that they are becoming and are darker and darker and becoming more and more evil. So dear Lord, as we have your word and we have this time to partake in your daily bread, I pray that we are edified by it. I pray that we are nourished up. I pray that we are learning of them so that we can put them into practice and be comforted in you, through you, by you, and for you, Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. All right. So Psalm chapter 4 says, To the chief musician of Neginoth, or Neginoth, a psalm of David, Hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness. Thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. O ye sons of men, how long will ye turn my glory into shame? 
How long will ye love vanity and seek after leasing? Selah. But know that the Lord hath set apart him that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call unto him. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Selah. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There be many that say, Who will show us any good? Lord, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart more than in the time that their corn and their wine increased. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. Amen. And this is a nice little prayer also. And um, we, as I said, we, we can put these psalms into context because we can we can read the life of David, right? And as I was even talking to someone the other day, it's like I, I, certain things in the scripture, I wouldn't go out of my way to pray for those kind of things, right? For example, the life of David. David, people just look at the glamour. Yes, he was a king and all of that stuff. But trust me, David went through it, right, throughout his life, right? If we can see the persecution that he went through right and to be, to be honest most if not all most of it wasn't warrant warranted like if you think about king saul when he was persecuting david like there was no merit to it it was just jealousy pure jealousy and bad mind evil eye against david david never did king saul nothing right but we saw where David went through it. Yeah, it was um a vagabond. Well, should I say vagabond? Let me not use that. He was an he was an outcast to the people at, at times because the people rejected him or the people were trying to kill him. Obviously, there were still a few around him that were still loyal to him. But you can imagine you had to be on the run for quite a a a, 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 a number of years of your life. It's not it's not it's not, it can't be nice, stress. <laughs> So when we read these Psalms, as I said, we can put certain things into context because we know the life of the of the, the author, right, King David, as much as we know, because we know that the, the scripture didn't give every single detail of every single day that he went through, right? But these Psalms kind of sums up certain things, uh, clarify certain things unto us. And we see where these well, we can testify of our own self because even we read in these Psalms at times, we can get um, comfort in them, right? We can see the heart of David and we can acknowledge that he was, um, as the scriptures say, a man after God, God's own heart. And we can re relate to quite a few of these Psalms when we are in that same place of distress and all of that stuff. And if we read even verse 8, right, it, it said, again, I will both lay me down in peace and sleep. If you're not, if if nothing's happening around you, like you, automatically you're gonna have a, in most cases you're gonna have a restful, peaceful night. But imagine if everything around you is not going according to plan, but yet still you can say, you know what, I trust God that He knows what He's doing. So although nothing in my eyesight doesn't look like it's going according to my plan, guess what? I trust God, and this is what is gonna equip me to, as it says, lay me down to sleep in peace right and it's show you again the lord will let us dwell in safety and safety yes is our physical yes we want to be safe when we're in our homes or if we're out and about but also we 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 we, we think about spirit the spiritual aspect of things also because at the end of the day as the scripture tells us we have an enemy that is going around like a roaring lion seeking who he made it power right and he doesn't sleep so, but unfortunate for us as mortal beings, we have to take rest, right? So we have to be equipped. Um, even in our, in our sleep in time, we have to be equipped um, because the battle is still raging. But guess what? We have a protector that is going to protect us in all aspects of life, whether we wake or we sleep, as long as we rely on in him and, and abide in his presence in that we are seeking him reading his word um being led by his holy spirit then we likewise are going to be safe from all the perils 
that the enemy tries to throw against us, right? So it's a nice little <clears throat> nice little psalm here this morning. Not too long. That's why I just read the whole of it. Um, anything that you want to share, you can drop it in the comment section or send it into the word at eachreachone.org. And as much as the Lord has led me, taught me, and kept me over the years, I will answer them according to his word, according to his principles, according to his will, being led by his Holy Spirit. So have a blessed day, everyone, and God's willing, we'll catch up again tomorrow.